I'm James Anadakis. This has been the Air Race One World Cup. We're here on the winners' podium after a fantastic weekend. Yeah! Nine exiting the queue. So it's been a great weekend of racing here at the Air Race One World Cup. The crowd are in full voice as we try desperately to grab an interview with our race winner, Tim Coe, making our way onto the stage then. Absolute pandemonium. Trying to make our way through all the fans as they're uh, taking pictures and posing for various photos with our race winner. Let's grab a word then with Tim Cohn. Tim, many congratulations. We're just going to wait for Matt, our cameraman, to make his way onto the stage. I've been used to interviewing you this weekend. You've been absolutely on fire. Congratulations, you are now the world champion. How do you feel? Unbelievably happy. In love with Thailand, uh, in love with the guys that I race with, the, some of the best pilots in the world do this. You stop and think about it, there's, there's more astronauts than there are Formula One pilots. So to have managed to get on top today, just it tops off an amazing summer and an amazing year and I can't wait to come back and defend my title next year. What a fantastic location Thailand has been this weekend. Utapau Naval, Naval Base is an amazing venue. They've made nothing but the greatest decisions. It's, it's unique in all the world. And look at all these people, the crowds have turned out and there are absolute thousands, haven't they? It's, it's wonderful. Can you, can you describe this feeling for us in a few words? It, it's just, just really just beggar's belief, doesn't it, at this moment for you? Just overwhelmed with the, with the love and respect from the Thai people, the friendliness, uh, the humidity. <laughs> it's uh, all a bit overwhelming. Do you know what? I think this is one of the few times I've seen you lost for words. It's just an overwhelming moment, maybe somewhat emotional, I think, as well. Absolutely. My father served here in the United States Air Force in 1967, and to come back here and do this is, is utterly heart stopping. Just one last question on your uh, aeroplane. Uh, how does she fly today? She flew great. She flew like she wants some more. So she'll go in the container. I'll take it home. I'll do some more modifications so I'm faster next year. We look forward to welcoming you back next year to defend your crown. Thank you so much. Great job. Appreciate all your hard work. That was the words then of Tim Cohn, our race winner, our champion here at the Air Race One World Cup. We're going to grab a quick word now with our CEO, Jeff. Jeff, we're just going to grab a quick word with you on what has been a fantastic event, hasn't it? Great racing and what, a, what an event in Thailand. Well, I can't get over this. I mean, the turnout and the racing, everything was spectacular. It was thrilling, it was exciting, it was fast-paced, it was everything we hoped it would be and a lot more. The audience, the response from everyone in the crowd is just, I mean, over, they're overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed, the pilots are overwhelmed. You know, we're going to come back. This is the biggest and best air race we've ever had. This is, in the history of all air racing, we believe this was the greatest moment. So. We couldn't be happier. This is exciting. And we've just crowned our champion, Tim Cohn. The pilots have been fantastic this weekend, haven't they? Yeah, no, the talent that came here was spec. We knew we were going to get good racing and con you know, competitive racing because all the best pilots were here, 16 of the best pilots in the world. But there was a lot of, a lot of really cool stories that came out of this, a lot of drama, a lot of excitement. No one knew how it was going to turn out. Tim did a fantastic job. He had a couple troubles earlier on in a couple of races, set him back a little bit. He came back. He deserved the win, that's for sure. And all the pilots, I mean, they were close. It was some really close racing. And we really are just grateful for Thailand for hosting such a wonderful event. Oh, yeah. We, I mean, we couldn't be happier. We were welcomed with open arms, red carpet by Thailand. The people of Thailand have just embraced us with every single ounce of their emotion. It's just fantastic. And they were absorbing the culture. You know, they're really, they're, and they really get sport. They love sports. So for them to adopt a new sport like air racing, it, I mean, it's just great. They're soaking it up like a sponge. So we're going to do more of this. An event like this really is a combination of just a group effort, isn't it? 
Yeah, I mean, we brought hundreds of people over here. I mean, it's like you know, a huge organization. But really, the the Thai people and all the all the organizations that were involved—the Ministry of Tourism, Sports, Sports Authority of Thailand, Chang, our partner, and of course the Royal Thai Navy and everybody else, all the other partners. Huge organization. Lot lots of different people that had to come together from different parts of the government, different parts of the private sector, different parts of the world to make it happen. And you know, I'm really impressed. And, and if I can say it, I'm a bit proud that we all did it. We, everyone did a good job and turned out well. I think it's fair to say, Jeff, that the Air Race One uh, World Cup has truly been a success. It, it's a success. It's just one and hopefully a long string of successes. We're growing. It's an old sport, but it's a new series. We're going to launch into the mainstream of the sporting world and hit it with a big boom. So that's it then for coverage from the Air Race One World Cup. What a fantastic weekend it's been. We look forward to seeing you back in Thailand next year.